Hi folks, in this Let's Play we're checking out Tharsis gameplay. Uh, this is coming to the Switch on the 11th of April, updated with new content after being around on PC since 2016. A Tharsis is a strategy game where your crew are on their way to Mars in a disaster prone spaceship, and each turn you face a handful of events that you complete by rolling dice, but you also need to have some dice left over to spend on survival. Oh, and since this is a randomised user, I'm obliged to say this is FTL meets Dicey Dungeons! I feel so cheap. Right, so this is the main screen, and we've just been hit by two disasters, an easier one and a harder one. And here are our four crew, uh, ready to go. Um, the other two crew were just blasted off into space. Never mind. Uh, we didn't like them anyway. So what we've got to do is solve these events by filling them up with dice. And we've got um, Cranston, who's got three dice ready to go, also three health, and a certain amount of stress on the left here. Everyone else seems to have got two dice. So we'll probably want to put Cranston there. But he's already there, actually. He's already deployed there, so we may as well just go straight in there. And um, you can put more than one um, person in there at once, but you'll still only be like um, using one person at once. So let's see. We've got to fill that up with 23. We've got three dice. Very low numbers. Very low numbers. And also these effects do apply. Um, if you roll a two or a three, they get stuck and you can't re-roll them. However, you start the game with one assist, which basically cancels that effect out once. It looks like we're going to have to re-roll pretty much everything, because a two, a one, and a one does not make 23. Um, but in fact, no combination of dice will actually do that, so we will have to get someone else here afterwards. Still terrible! Right, so I'll put four in there, reduce the total somewhat. Um, I can spend the dice in other ways. Uh, if you've got leftover dice, you can put them into here. Um, which will, if I put a five and a six into here, we'll repair the hull of it, because we've got four hull at the moment. And we are, if we don't repair stuff, we'll actually lose three, which will take us down to one. If we get to the zero, we'll lose the game. So, I don't know. This is going to be a bit tricky. Um, we, what we could do is put those that into here, because we've got two identical dice. And that will actually, um, for later, um, if not this turn, later will give us all five dice for Cranston. It might be a sacrifice worth making, but I suspect we're going to have to use several lads in this, and maybe, like, not bother doing this one. So let's send in... Well, let's send in Rene, who's currently in that module. Let's deploy him or her to here, and roll the dice. Who's a bit more like it. That's is still in stasis. That takes us down to 13. Um, unfortunately, this only had one or two dice to roll, which is a pain. Put that into there. So we're down to 10 now. And we'll need one more person. Let's get... Let's get... Well, let's just get the Doctor involved. Unfortunately, this loses health doing that. Um, so we've got two dice to roll here. Let's get some guns. Six and a three. Not quite enough. And I can't re-roll the three because it's now in status because of that effect. Which ain't great. I could put the six into there, which would give both Rene and Cranston an extra health point, simply because they're around. That's the, that's the Doctor's strength. Inevitably, they're going to have to put that into there, and that into there. Irritatingly, all four crew members are going to have to dr um, do this event, which means we are going to lose one hull at the end of all this. And we won't, also, we won't be able to spend um, any dice on bonuses, like food or whatever. But you can resort to cannibalism! I said, alarmingly. Right, interesting. This is interesting, because we could actually bung this six into here, which will give one dice to everyone in the module, so both Ronda and Rene will get an extra dice, which will be very handy indeed, I think. Uh, although I'm not quite sure if that applies to this turn or next turn, so it might be a waste, but it'll be interesting finding out. So let's put the four into here to solve that. Event complete. It does look like it has actually, has actually given them extra dice, so that's good. Now, this is the next turn now. Impending damage. That. Oh, actually, this is the same turn, because that's that's actually applied. This is the next turn. Moods are turning sour, the crews, and whatever it said there. But if I can't lead them, we're all dead. I need to get it together. Right, so here's a side project. We can choose either one of these two. Um, plus two assist, uh, which will be handy, because it, we can negate some effects. But we'd also get a bit more stressed. That's the green bar on the left here. Okay, we've got to stay healthy, so plus two health for every crew member. That'd be very handy. But we'd also lose two hull damage. That's awful. We can't do that. So let's go for here. We'll get assists and stress. 
Now we have one one unit of food. Um, bung pipe, possible. Well, to be honest, Ronda Rene and Bung pipe all need food, which will give us three. We've got one bit of food, which will give somebody three dice. Uh, I'll give it to Rene because she's got a reroll. That's nice. Good. We don't need to resort to cannibalism just yet. New events. Oh god. So that event has actually carried over, you'll notice, rather irritatingly. Um, but we've also got these two new ones. This one's a bit of a dick, but not too awful. But we lose health for everyone if we don't actually sort it out. Um, also, there's there's one new mechanism in the game I should mention. Oh. It's You can't move anyone through uh, a different event to get to another one uh, without taking damage. However, since everyone's in the middle of the module already, that won't apply here. Uh, we will probably need to sort out this as soon as possible. Let's um, let's get. We don't need. Mm, we'll probably need to get Rene onto the the more difficult one. Uh, but let's. Tr oh, wait, also, Cranston's got five dice as well. Hmm. What I'll do. I could use. I wouldn't mind using the doctor to um, get some extra health. I'm going to do this. Because we've got we've got five dice. Okay, if I roll a four, he'll take injury. That's not annoying. But we've got assist on the go, so that's not a problem. There, we rolled two fours, but we've used up the two assists solving that, so I will not take the injury. Um, but we have now got not great die. I'll put the two fours into there. I mean, I could put it into there; that would have been handy. But now I've got an assortment of old tut. Now, I could put them into my research projects, because then I'll be able to spend the research I gain on some of these cool little extra bonuses, which I think I might end up doing. Um, he's a mechanic. I'm going to re-roll everything, I think. Might as well. Oh, I've got another four. That's all the assists used up now. Um, okay, well, I haven't got the I haven't got five or six to do with that, and I haven't got another re-roll. So what I'll probably do... I could put the threes, the double threes, into here, which would earn extra dice. In fact, I don't even do... I don't need to do a double. I can just put one in there and I'll get two. Um, but I don't really need to at the moment, I think. So what I'll do, I think, is... I'll put a four into here and three into there, uh, which will give us two research, which means I can already, if I wanted to, add two assists up to there or get one hull. So we might as well do that. And then I can put the three to there and finish the event. That gives us a bit of breathing room. Now I could... Now the Doctor could now um, give health back to everyone. But... Yeah, I think so. This That'll be fine. I'll do that now. Oh, no, fact, it's in the wrong mod... No, that's fine. That's fine. It is in the right module, isn't it? Yeah. So... If I can roll a 5 or a 6, I can give everyone health. That should be... Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Try again. 6! Yes. Right, so who's... Everyone's got... On the left, it's 4, 3, 3 health. And 3 for Ronda. That's given every single person one extra health. That's good. Yes, 5, 4, 4, 4. Perfect. And the 3, the remaining 3, can go into research projects. Nice. Okay, so we've used her up. It was a bit of a gamble, but to be honest, Rene is easily going to sort out this event, and hopefully, hopefully Bungpipe can sort out the PMA fail. Right, so this is where the food happens. If you do have people left over at the end of a turn, you can actually put them into modules and get them rolling stuff to do things like harvest food, even if there's no disaster there. Right, so one is injury and two will make the dice disappear entirely, so we definitely don't want twos. We've got plenty of dice sorted. Ow! A couple of ones. Therefore, a couple of health problems. Well, what have we got? 10, 14, 15. So we can conclude this um, in one. But we've got a one left over. Ideally, we'd have two dice left over. Two identical dice, and then we can do this. Harvest food. Um, well, we'll... Okay, let's put that into there, that into there, and that into there. And then hope for the best and we, on a re-roll that we won't get injured. Um, well, we didn't get... We didn't get doubles there, which was what I was after. 
I think you have to get doubles. Yeah. And unfortunately, just putting one in there will earn me no food. Putting two in there will earn me one food. And putting three in there will earn me two foods. But can't do that. So what I'll do is I'll put a six into here and a four into there. Event complete. Oops. <laughs> want to click that, but you don't click that. You click that. So Bung Pipe now has to solve the PMA fail all on his lonesome. Go. Be a six and a five. Not ideal. I did not do this. <laughs> and I can't re-roll that either. This is the one thing we didn't want to happen. Oh, it's a three! I was not to tell a lie. I was adding it up wrong. Oh, we can do it then. For some reason I was adding it up to one less than it actually did. God, I can't do basic mathematics all of a sudden. That's, that's it, we've sorted that event, so therefore we won't take any damage whatsoever. But the next turn, which is now, we will do. I let the fear get the better of me, but others have proven me wrong. I'm proud of how the crew has come together. Possibly in the wanking room. I think we might actually have a chance. You jinxed it now. Right, let's see. So we can give ourselves some extra dice, but lose two hull. Or we can gain one food and lose two hull. Oh, bloody hell. This is literally... I... Uh. I was literally can't avoid losing two hull here. That's awful. One dice for us. That would be... Mm. Do I get those... T these two on the left will get two dice. Or... If I get one food, I'll be able to give that to the captain and he'll get three dice. So I think that's probably best on reflection. It takes us down to two hull, that's awful. Well, not bad, only the doctor, Rhonda, is a bit pissed now. Bloody hell, three events. Destruction, if we don't solve these, we're going to blow up. Hooray. Um, we may be able to get an override. Well, we can't definitely get an override using the research. We may need that. Or we can actually re-roll these, these three things, but we'll see how things go. So those two aren't too awful, but that one is. This is the awful one, which we're definitely going to have to do something with. We're not going to be able to fanny around getting the doctors to heal people on this. Let's start out with René. Oh, René. You fly. Right, so shitty death with... Um, this is going to injure us something rotten. Look, if we get roll a four or a five, we get hurt. Okay. Override. Assist. Right. That should hopefully prevent us from being too hurt. Well, that's used two of the assists up already. Right. Those two. It takes us down to 14. And we've got snake eyes again. Roll those. Ha! Huh? That's not bad at all. So we'll probably send the doctor in here then to and just finish this off. I mean, this will take give us two damage, so we definitely, definitely want to prioritise this. Right, come on, Ronda. Help, help me, Ronda. Yeah, it's fine. That does not hurt us at all. Ha! Huh. Right, so Ronda and Rene can have a little time off whilst Cranston and Bungpipe sort out these two events. Um, so... Hmm. It doesn't really matter which one does which, I don't think. Now, it does actually tell you, it warns you in advance what the assists are here. Like, um, here it looks like if we roll a six, we get injured. And if we roll a two here, I think, I think two is stasis. I think that's how it works. Um, who is most... Well, we've both got four health, so it doesn't really matter which way around we do this. But I, would, I would have put the healthier person into this one. Yeah, look, if we roll a six, injury. Three, six, ten, eleven. Hmm. All right. All very horrible dice, really. Put the four in there. Health recovery would be nice, but... Hmm. Could take a chance. But let's put the three into there, and then re-roll. Oh, a six! Owsies. Ow, ow. Um, if you don't want to re-roll, but you want to keep the dice for the next turn, you can just put them into the dice hole, by the way. But anyway, let's sort that out. We've got one left over, which I'll bung into there. 
Looks like if I get two research points, I'll be able to reduce stress. Stress so far hmm, is, is creeping up. Okay, so one more event. Uh, the Captain Bungpipe himself will be um, sorting out the MCA fail. This unit is not working very well. This is a difficult game, by the way, even on normal. So, expect death, <laughs> essentially. Right, two stages. This should, shouldn't be too bad. Although I could do with not rolling a two. Oh, I've rolled a two. We're not out of assists now. So I'll definitely put that into there. So five, eight, nine. I'll put the five into there. Um, This is going to have to be just a risk, isn't it? We don't... I mean, hmm. We'll put a three into there. I would be forced to roll a five here. Risk it. Oh, you you were a six, and then you were a not. Ooh, piss. I can't even put those into research. Oh, dicks. Well, we've lost this then. We've lost and we've lost one hull damage. So we're down to one. I've checked our food stores, and it looks grim. We lost more than half our supplies with the module that blew up just as we started. If we don't find some creative solutions, we'll starve before we ever reach the uh, Mars. Right, so what we've got here is a choice. We can, we can gain a hull, um, but we'll lose a dice for each of these lads. Oh, no, it's just you. Only Cr Cranston will lose one dice, and that's it. Or food for, for well, for everyone, but shitloads of stress, which will take Rene up to the near the top, but not quite at the top, so that should be not too bad. Um, Only Rhonda is really struggling for dice, so I reckon I'm, I'm going to choose this which will give us a hull back, which we desperately need. Oh, also we can resort to cannibalism! Hooray! Finally! Um, it'll reduce people's max health, but who cares? Um, so let's give let's give some um, dead crew member, because we, yeah, we, two of them are dead at the start. Well, one of them got shot into space, and I think one of them we kept in the freezer, so give Cranston some delicious meat. Don't ask where it came from. Oh, I thought we had food. Oh, maybe we didn't get food. Yeah. Oh no, because that was... Um, a potential food, not actual food. Okay, Wanda, you can have that and all. But you're stressed up to... Oh god, Cranston is actually fully stressed. Oh yeah, I forgot. Cannibalism does actually increase stress. Well... Oopsie, frankly. So we've got two medium difficulty events. Um, not really... I mean, it's gonna... That one will hurt us all for two. And those each will do one on the whole. So that's gonna be the easy event that we can easily solve, because I was hang, hung over from last time. This one, well, hmm. We definitely have to get rid of this, because um, because I won't be able to move Cranston or Bungpipe over to here without going through here, which will hurt. Um, That will re that will injure people for, on if we roll a one. I think this is going to be the most difficult one to deal with. We've already got two people in there already. So I don't know, it's some... I think they those two probably will end up solving that one. Cranston will solve that one, and Bungpie will solve that one. It's hardly moving people around at all. Hopefully we'll have... We might get lucky and have something left over, but... Rhonda will have to roll like three sixes to solve that on her own. We may as well. There's no injury potential here. Which is lucky. Right. Roll. There's blood! 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 And bits of sick! Put the six in there. Right, so we've got two ones. Um, we might get lucky and get two sixes. We didn't. But we also missed out both of these two lads over here. Um, Well, the other person, um, Rene, will be able to pop in afterwards and mop up. I wonder if I should use this three on something else. Yeah, let's do that. Which means, in theory, we could actually reduce stress, which is actually probably essential right now. Although that might have, I'm not sure if that only de-stressed de us too, but Rhonda definitely needed it. Okay, so now we also need Rene to sort out this. Let's see what's going on. Oh my god, the dice are going rogue. Right, so that's not disappeared into the ether. We've um, had one assist point. So let's just do the old bungaroo. Solve that, and put the one into research. I mean, I could have re-rolled that, but... Too late now. 
Right, so you lads have sorted that out. Uh, we're not going to blow up in this turn. Um, hmm, this one is the most painful, I think. So let's get Cranston in with your four dice. One injury, two stasis. The bloody dice are out. Oh dear, we've got a two and a one. Ow. <laughs> Look where Cranston just like goes, Ugh! and then shakes it off. He's so tough, isn't he? Look at how tough he is, mate. Mate. <clears throat> anyway, let's get sensible. Let's have a look at these, actually, because we've got three suppression, no movement damage, who cares? Four is an MCC override, 17 repair, one module. Or six is a disaster reduce, completely sort of... I'm going to re-roll. Oh, that's, more in that's interesting. I've never had ones before. Small kit, one health acting crew member. One, re three repair to one module. So it's not the full repair, it's just three. That's interesting. That would be useful in a, in a pinch. Well, I'm going to put that into there. Oh no, I might as well put that in there, won't I? And re-roll. Ow! But we have got enough to do the thing. So five... One... Put the two into there? That gets all our dice back for next turn. Cool! Right. Bungpipe has one final thing to do. Could really do with some research at some point. Let's hope Bung Pipe has some left over then. Bung. Pipe. Now what I could do is nothing particularly exciting. Hmm. I mean I could put those into there and there and there. Uh, let's do that. Sod it. But let's re-roll this and let's try and get a five or a six. We got three. That's fine. Research into there. And that means at some point we'll be able to... I can give you extra health. I can give Bunk Pipe extra health if necessary, but let's leave it until it's absolutely necessary. But yes, that's that's good. That's in reserve for future. Well, at least we we're not carrying any, over any damage, which is good. A transmission arrived. Not from Earth, but from Mars. Hello, Mars. Hello, I'm Mars. An impossible signal from an impossible source. Mustard. Is this what we're searching for? Who's transmitting this signal? I'm very angry, aren't I, apparently? Anyway, this plot. Oh, it's the sunrise, or moonrise, or something. Don't get up with it. Right, anyway. Um, I can't focus on my job when everything is going to hell. Put on the suppression system now, or you'll regret it. Um, you want to stop hurting me? It's stupid. Assist. Minus one health for all crew. Shit, shit, shit. Bleeding is bad. Should definitely stop bleeding. One health for me, but minus one hull. So, this is terrifying, because if we don't choose... These two. These two lads will get extra stress, and Cranston's already stressy. So that's worrying. The trouble is, if I don't choose this. Actually, Ronda's fine. I, mm, you'll get stressed out as well. This is awful. If I choose that one. No movement damage. Who cares? That's not good. I, thankfully, I don't want to choose that. I don't really care about that. So it's either going to be one of these two. One health for all... Minus one health for all crew. That's bad. I'll leave Cranston very sickly. You'll get one health back. But we'll lose... I'm going to have to risk the hull. It's awful, but this is... This is bad. All of this is bad. Luckily, we have cannibalism to rely on. I might give this to Rene. Because you're not very stressed. Everyone else is stressed as balls. Oh, Bungpipe isn't that stressed. Um, maybe I'll give it to you. But I like Rene's re-rolls, so you can have that. A sacrifice can be made for more supplies. Oh god. No. Right, so we cannot take any damage. Oh god, we've got 24. Uh, thankfully we won't take any movement damage because there's nothing blocking our way. Let's get Cranston in on here. Say hello to the captain. And we could actually get, if we get five left over, we'll be able to um, repair some of the hull. I'm tempted, actually, to actually um, do bung pipe first, or maybe, maybe Rene instead. So let's. This has got a re extra reroll. So let's use you instead. Not bad. Not a bad set of things. 
Um, let's put in five, four, four, three, five, four, four. So this will get us down to eight. That's Rene. Um, so I was going to use Cranston on that, but I think. Yes, actually, let's do that, because then we'll definitely we'll get a lot more chance of getting this um, hair, um, hull repair thing going. Okay, that's fine. This is kind of like what I wanted. Not a single... Ow! Not a single five. Holy tits on toast. Hmm. Right, they're definitely going to have to go into there. Right, let's re-roll. Hope for the best. Let's get a five or a six. A five and a six. <laughs> let's take a look. Um, which means we can also... Oh, it says I can earn an extra dice. Oh, no, that's actually earn three assists. If I put something into there. Oh, this is the perfect roll. Uh, okay. First of all, let's put that into there. Let's put that into there. And that into there. That was, a, that was good. That was one of the first times I've actually felt good about anything in this game. Now, unfortunately, Rhonda now has to deal with this. And if she doesn't roll... If she doesn't get eight in two, we are, as the French say, Lee buggered. However, we do have one ace in the hole. We have duct tape. Woohoo! Right, let's go. Ouch. So we have five, and we need eight. Luckily, we have duct tape. That takes us down to five, and by the skin of our teeth, we have survived. One more turn. Unfortunately, the next turn, by the looks of it, has got the worst events in the world. But, heard you On the upside, Bungpipe hasn't actually gone yet. Ooh. Well, what can we do then? Hull repair, maybe. Um, if we get, if we, if we get an, basically, if we get, if we roll a double, we'll be able to repair it for one, which ain't great. I might be able to regain dice for next turn. That might be useful. Although Ronda's most in need of that. I'd like to get some food, but that again requires doubles, and we've only got two dice to play with. If we roll a five or a six in here, we'll be able to get no movement damage, but that's always the least important thing, as far as I can give a shit about. I'm going to... Health repair? No. I'm going to put you into... Regain dice. I think I can put that into there, and I put that into there. Oh no, it has to be, that actually does have to be doubles. But I've still got two dice back, so I can put the one into here um, and get get some health back for someone as well. So that's that has actually helped. So we're now going to get three events. This is going to be painful. Um, oh, well, that suit is designed for the, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> right, um, we do actually have this to do as well. Um, this isn't too bad by the looks of it. Everyone's so stressed. Um, one extra food, one but three health, so that'll kill. Oh dear. This choice. Uh, yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't really want to kill someone. <laughs> Over here, I need this, or I'm going to be useless. Really, really stress out Rhonda. Oh no, minus. I'll actually de-stress her, but also, she'll also lose a dice. But I don't think you can go below one, so that will actually have no drawback. Meanwhile, over here, everyone will lose a dice. Um, but we'll prevent stasis. Who cares? Let's choose this one. So this is a choice with no drawback for once. That takes your stress down. We're not going to kill anyone, but cho choices may have to be made at some point. Right, now we get the, the events. Ooh. Ouch. So only this hasn't got the potential to kill us. And these are really tough. And Ronda's only got one dice. Oh, bloody hell. This is going to be incredibly tough. Uh, we can, we've can we got full movement here. Uh. This has already hurt us for one. Bloody hell. Right, so these are serious amounts of vulnerable effects. Um, Krantz is on one health as well. Um, I think I might actually give you health. Six, a six, a four, and a one, which is not 
a problem for the cyst, because that would have that would have made that dice disappear. Um, six goes into there, six goes into there, four goes into there, and we'll re-roll that one and try and get something good. Don't be a... Ooh! Nice! Right, that's all we can do there. So let's put in someone else to finish that off. Probably the Doctor. Also hurt. All we need is a three. You f fart. All we need is a three. A five! Right, sorted. So we still need to do this one, otherwise we're going to die. This is hurting as well. Everything's painful. Okay. It's 22. Ooh. Also, look at the injury here. This could kill. This could, this could kill Rene quite easily. Uh. <gasps> Ouch! Well, we've used our last assist, but that still hurt. Oh, I'm gonna have to use it, aren't I? There's, I don't really. I can't risk it anymore. This is good. our last crew member. We can't deal with this one, but that's fine. So, bung pipe. Injury again. But thankfully, Bung Pipe has health for days. Please give us some good dice. Ones that won't kill us. Ooh, that was killed us for two, but we're still alive. Five, nine, we can, we can sort this out now. Whew. And that's that turn. We're still going to lose some hull, though. The more I see of this video, the more it scares the shit out of me. Oh. Who hey, are they? What do they want? Alright. So, we can't do that because that'll kill Rene. Um, this one would de stress everyone and lose dice. That'll kill us on the next turn. Plus three health. Well, I could kill. I could kill Cranston. I could sacrifice that. Dear. Nothing is good. That'll kill someone. That'll kill someone. This won't. I'll try this. I know this is. This is Probably the worst thing I could have done. I should have sacrificed a crew member, I think. I just didn't want to. At least there's only two events this time. 19. Nobody's got any dice. That was a big, big mistake. I've only got one hull left. Oh, shit. I'm doomed. Let's get on with it. Six. I can't roll anything else without it being voided. That's about as good as we're going to get, I think. And now everyone else has just got one die. Just roll a six. Or else. Or a one. That's no good, is it? I mean, that's not, that barely contributes. Oh, hello! Right, so we... we believe it or not, we are actually... We're going to fail, aren't we? We can't do this. No, we haven't got enough crew members. And um, we can't do anything here. Let's maybe let's try and shuffle. Oh, we can't shuffle them. We've already done it once. Well, this is it. We are marching into infinity now. Still haven't actually voided anything, weirdly. We are going to Come on, Rene, do the last do the last bit of business before we all go into the inky black. <laughs> F. U. Well, that's it. We're going to fall slowly apart as our ship just gets absolutely beaten to all hell. This is, a, as I said, this is actually a surprisingly difficult game. Um, there are strategies. Some of them are a bit more oblique than others. And yeah, that's our that's our spaceship very slowly drifting apart. Good night, everyone. I hope you had fun. <laughs> obviously, if you're not somehow aware of Dicey Dungeons. Um, that was my game of the year last year. Uh, I will put a link um, to some of the videos in the description and the end card because, of course, um, you're going to watch to the end card. <laughs> Not as if there's anything else to do these days. Um, but yeah, um, this has been Tharsis, another dice game, um, and it's quite, quite difficult. But it seems like a good a good game for the Switch because, you know, it's um, very sort of like a feels like a very good portable game. But thanks for watching. Do subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.